My name is Aldwin and I've been working in the jewelry industry for over 10 years. I'm going to bring you along to show you what it's like working day to day in the known but historic diamond and jewelry industry, hidden away in Hong Kong, Hong Kong. bracelet online here we got two tennis bracelets so believe it or not both of these are five carats so it really depends on what you're looking for this one is five carats with 50 stones meaning it's 10 pointer each or 0 0.10 carat this one is 35 stones and it's five carats so with this type of setting we call it the big look so it makes it a uh, each stone look bigger than it is so each stone is actually around 14 pointer but because there's more gold in between it makes the whole bracelet look a lot bigger. But the most important thing you gotta figure out is what is your bracelet size? Both of these are seven inches, around 17 and a half centimeter. It's standard, standard length. I'll put it on my wrist over here so you can compare. All right, so we got the big look over here. And then the standard one, we call this the horseshoe setting because it looks like a lucky horseshoe. So, set in a way where you can see the profile of the diamonds so it looks like it's floating above the setting but from face up it just looks like a classic uh, four prong tennis so you're gonna wear it with a watch you might want to loosen it up a little bit first looser then we'll do one at a time so how you wear a bracelet is you take this end call this a box clasp these are the safety clasps so you put the tongue, the tongue always goes with the safety clasp. So you put tongue through the box clasp over here. So when you buckle it in the box clasp, the tongue into the clasp, make sure you hear a little sound. That a click and then another click. Make sure it's secure, All right? And a lot of people have asked me how you can wear a bracelet by yourself without any assistance because when you buy one in the jewelry store, they help you put it on, but if you buy one online, you have to put one on yourself. So what I like to do is take the open side, the box clasp, put it outward, and then hold the bracelet against my body over here, take the tongue, put it into the clasp, like that, until you hear a click, and then boom, boom. There you go. And make sure that, you know, it depends on some people and uh, where you live. Some environments are, uh, they have all four seasons, like in New York or in Toronto is a little bit cooler. Uh, they might want a little bit more space because, uh, you know, your skin shrinks in the winter and then the summer swells up. In Hong Kong, it's super hot, so some people like a little bit more space. But sometimes when you're in the office, the AC is really strong, so your hand might shrink a little bit. But Personally, I like to have one to two finger space. So that's how you know it fits. So this is seven inches, around 17 and a half centimeter. And uh, tennis bracelet that goes all the way around. So you can wear it by itself, or you can stack it with other bracelets, or watch like that. I'm gonna show you one more time how to put it on with the jumbo setting, the big look setting. Just like that, put it against your body. Tongue through. Clasp over here, give it a little bit of a push, you hear the click, pop the right, pop the left, there you go, two finger space, so just enough so that it can dangle down gently on your wrist without constricting your wrist. That's how you buy a diamond bracelet online, so if you want just a classic look with the smaller stones, or if you want the jumbo setting like this to make each stone look bigger, and then you have the 14 pointers instead of the 10 pointers. Oh, 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 oh,